YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. AMD is the stock of the day. So thank you guys for tuning in to the Life Changing Finances YouTube channel. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. So AMD stock of the day. You can see we closed out the day about 1.84%. 1 1 Looks like it's cooled off a little bit in the after hours. Now, for so long, um, I've been telling you guys to, to go. Well, I can't tell you what to do. I've told you that I was going to be buying when AMD uh, was in a slump, right? So if we go out on the one-month chart, we can see that we got as low as 142, okay? And so I told you guys in, I said, I'm buying, I'm buying, I'm buying, I'm buying. I mean, I, we put several videos out saying we were buying, and this was just 15 days ago. Now, look at this run. So from 142, and now we we got as high as 167 on the day, okay? So had you got in when I said I was buying down here, you would have, if you would have gotten some options, you, yeah, you would be sitting pretty nice right now. I'll just tell you that. Now, let's go into, in, into depth on what's going on too. So you can see that the, the sentiment across the board is starting to change as it pertains to uh, chip stocks in general. So uh, AMD has no uh, exception to that. Um, you can see, um, Ampere computing pairs with Qualcomm on AI on Vail's new chip. So we've got AMD in that. Um, AMD play MD may be on the verge of a breakout. So you can see the analysts are starting to hype you up. So I still would be cautious. Uh, the overall markets are bullish right now because of the inflation data that's come out. So the latest CPI uh, data that came out shows that inflation was cooling down. But the day before, the PPI numbers suggested that uh, the inflation for businesses kind of ticked up a bit. But the way they presented it is that it's not pushing forward to consumers. So I have my thoughts on that. I'm sure you do, too, as well. You can also see... Uh, uh, Bridgewater's top Q1 buy sales, Amazon, AMD, uh, Medtronic, uh, CME, uh, and others. So overall, you can see that the analysts has, have this as an 82% buy, 18% hold, 0% sale. So that is, that's incredible coming from, from, uh, analysts, especially, uh, now that we've gotten to the top of the overall markets to still see the bullish sentiment is uh, is pretty pretty incredible. Now, as of the last uh, reading, uh, it was updated May third uh, that they ha have it as as a fat fair value of one hundred and forty five dollars. And you notice since then this thing has gone up about twenty more dollars. Okay, so always take certain things with a grain of salt. They want to shake you out, and so they can get in, take your your uh your stocks at a discount and then raise the price so be weary of that now a couple of questions i have for you guys that i'd like for you to answer in the comments i'll be looking as do you think that amd is going to follow the trend of what um nvidia is going to do uh next week we know nvidia has this earnings coming out on may 22nd uh we know that nvidia is the biggest uh, chip company out there uh, slash AI. So from that perspective, we know that the chip companies tend to do what NVIDIA does. When we think about ARM, uh, what is it, SMCI, we've got AMD is another one. You've got Intel and many more. So do you think that AMD is gonna follow the trend of uh nvidia i'd love to to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below listen guys i appreciate you guys make sure you guys like share subscribe and we're out guys peace